What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be playing around with a title called Century. We got to play with a demo of this quite a while ago during one of the Steam Next Fests. And I'm happy to say that normally I'm not a big fan of tower defense games. That's not the happily part. The happily part comes next. But Century seems to be drawing from games like Sanctum in order to make something interesting and more fun than your average tower defense game, which in my opinion has kind of been in stasis and the genre hasn't really developed at all in the last 15, 20 years. And so Century is a game where you are a frozen human on board an evacuation pod. Earth is destroyed. It's been post-apocalyptic. You can see these guys right here bombarding the planet. Humanity is dead. We're evacuating the planet. We're going somewhere else. Somewhere better. Somewhere shinier and more chrome. And you are one of the defensive cryopod people that gets pulled onto the deck whenever breachers try to get on board because the aliens will stop at nothing but human extermination. And so when you get woken up, your job is to protect different parts of the ship, upgrade different parts of the ship, repair different parts of the ship, and also fight with the enemy while also building traps, explosives, things of that nature to get the breachers off the ship. Thus far, I've played the game for about an hour, hour and a half prior to the recording of this video. I think the game is really fun. It's got some punchy ranged combat. It's got some very difficult choices. And so we're going to dive on in today and take a look at it for about 30 minutes and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or if it's not for you when the game comes out next week on the 25th. This game does come out in early access. The link is down below. The developers already have a roadmap published telling you what they're going to be working on. On top of that, you can also find a link in my description down there that will take you to my Twitch stream and my Discord, uh, where I make much more content than over here. But let's go ahead and we will continue and start the game off. So this right here is our Roughneck class vehicle. The fact that there's a class of vehicle seems to imply that there's going to be other ship types as well along the way. And so you are trying to escape the planet of Earth. It's up to you how you want to do that, but along the way, you're going to pick on the grid and you're going to find little spots that will give you different resources. These resources can be used to respawn more sentries. They can be used to fix up and upgrade your ship. They can be used to upgrade your weaponry, for example. We have 300 research right now. This is the stuff that we started out with. I can make my grenades... Oh, I guess I can unlock the grenade entirely. I wasn't super impressed with the grenade so far. Hopefully they increase the the oomph of it since it's on a reasonably long cooldown. But anyways, wasn't super impressed with the grenade, but it can be helpful in choke points. What I want to dump like all of my stuff into is the SMG because getting this node right here that increases your magazine capacity also increases the max amount of bullets you can carry. And trust me, in this game... You don't want to run out of bullets while fighting with the enemy. That's one of the, like, worst things that can happen. We'll upgrade our thermal discharger. It's a flamethrower that's in the wall. And then this guy right here is going to be an enemy breach patrol. There he is. And so he's landed in engineering. Each of these right here are subsystems of your ship. They don't do anything right now as far as I know. Maybe I didn't make it far enough into the game. But... You play tower defense in these areas. Basically, you have Kevin from Home Alone, and you're messing with the aliens, trying to annihilate all the sticky bandits that are trying to run up on your ship. If you fail, every enemy that gets through lowers the health bar of this particular district of your ship. When it goes all the way down, this area falls, and then when they breach from this side, they'll start from right here. They're trying to get to the central processing unit. That's how they kill us. So let's go ahead and deploy. I'm going to take this pretty slowly, and I'm not going to shoot for bonuses. Uh, but we get to pick our loadout. Your loadout is limited by the amount of slots that you have available. As you get further on into the game, since these are grayed out, I'm guessing you're going to be able to get more of them. For right now, we don't have a whole lot to play around with, so I'll just slot everything in that we have. The game does come with little animations like racking the slides and things of that nature, and the guns feel pretty punchy and pretty good. I'm going to need to look around this area because I don't know this part of the ship. And so it looks like the exit gate is right there. The enemy is coming through D, which looks like it links around on this side. Yeah, so E and D come around on this side. There's multiple breach points on your ship, up to like five or six of them. There's also little nooks and crannies that you can crawl through if you need to get in between areas faster uh, to defend. For right now, since they're only coming in through D... We're going to tack out D with a little bit of that good stuff. And then we're going to put a sticky pad right there to make them slower. Summon the enemy. There they are, and we are already in contact. 
Uh, all of your weapons do have multiple fire modes. So our current SMG is a double-barreled SMG. Uh, it can fire either both barrels at once for highly accurate, highly damaging fire, or you can put it to where the barrels alternate and it fires much more quickly, but it is much less accurate. It's up to you with whatever you want to do there. Our pistol, its secondary fire is that every single bullet in our pistol is explosive and it embeds in the enemy like a dart. They take damage from you shooting them, but then if you right click, all of the bombs go boom, 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 and they blow up kind of like in a very satisfying way. I didn't really want to kill the alien dog. Can we convince the alien's dogs to love us more than them? Because I feel like if we can pull that off, that will be a far superior way to claim victory. And so it looks like C is the next one that's open. C connects all... Oh, C doesn't connect from here. How does C connect? I figured C would loop around. We got E on that side. Exit gate's over there. We can jump out the window. I have no clue how we get to C, so I've got to feel this out. Okay, so C is over here. Gotcha. Fair enough. We've already lost our breach bonus. And that goes to E and B. Are they only coming through C right now? This might be our best vantage point then. All right, give me some flamethrowers. Just a couple of them right there. I don't have enough for anything else. So I'll probably just do that. I don't really want to hold right here. I would really, really prefer not to. But it, I, I do think we're going to have to do this one from the shoulder, unfortunately. There is an ammo pack up there, and I kind of want it. You do have limited ammo in this game. You also have limited health. When you die, your breacher is gone. The only way to get more breachers, or I guess the only way to get more sentries, is to find life pods that are floating around in space. All of the guns in this game thus far have felt very clean and very plosive. Uh, everything from there's multiple kinds of pistols, there's rifles, there's shotguns. All of the stuff that you expect there to be in a title like this will be in here. Probably give myself a little more breathing room here. And I think the breaches that open up are actually random. So sometimes you get really, really easy breaches that are all kind of connected in the same direction. So you can just booby trap the hell out of one hallway. Other times, they're on completely different ends of the ship, and that's when it starts to get a little bit wild and chaotic, and that's why they have these little grates and things right here that allow you to bypass the hallways and get to where you want to go without having to stop off. There are ammo packs, and there are med packs all over the ship. However, one thing to keep in mind is that you've got to run and get them, and since everything in the game is timed, that can be kind of bad for you. We've got 239 health right now. Next breach is coming through D and C. Okay, so where is D at? Uh, yeah, refill me on ammo real quick. So pods are up here. I do wish you could mouse over that and hit like the E key and it would draw like a little laser line on the floor to help you get there. That would be also very, very nice. So D is on that side, and C is a different direction. Not great. Not super great. How do I get to C? Oh, C is the one we were already def uh, Okay, we were already defending C. Gotcha. And the gate is down and in over here. Okay. Me two more of those right there. I've got enough for two more traps. Let's see if we can go up top and fortify D a little bit, maybe. I don't know if we're going to get there in time. We got like a couple seconds. I can always deploy these on the fly if I need to, but let's put those in right there. And then we'll go ahead and update the objective, put that away. I'm actually going to camp the gate over here, and I'm just going to watch both directions, and the traps get who the traps get, and I'll try to polish off whoever they don't get. So we'll try to keep this kind of like right here. I can shoot through that window right there, but I don't really have an elevated point from which to do it.
Almost got me. Almost got me. Is that all the breaches? I don't think the enemy has much left, but then again, neither do I. Uh, there are headshots in this game. If you hit them in the head, you do get a lot more damage. I found that the head box is much more consistent on some mobs than others. That's all I'll say about that. It's not hugely disruptive. There's been no point in the game where I was like, that's bullshit, and threw my mouse against the wall. But sometimes, you know, their little arms get in the way while they're aiming and, like, getting them right in the face can be difficult from time to time or doesn't seem to register from time to time. After every single mission, they're going to give you some rewards. We got 400 materials, and because the enemy did not damage engineering and nobody got through, we're all good to go on that side. Let's head back on over to the navigator. We've got a choice in front of us right now. We can get a stasis pod or we can get a derelict. The derelict will let us choose some equipment, so I'm going to take the derelict. Now we can get a new weapon, we can get a new deployable, or we can get some materials. Let's see here. Traditionally employed in the industrial sector for cargo freight and weight distribution, this metal ground plate features a looped conveyor belt. When activated, it will propel enemies standing on it in the direction that the pad is aimed. Okay, I was hoping for something a little bit deadlier, something a little bit nastier, something a little bit more, you know, like a rotating missile launcher. And a heat-seeking autocannon that fires 1,300 RPMs. You know, I was thinking about stuff like that, but I guess we can play Factorio a little bit. Why not? Uh, throw that guy in there so that we've got an extra one, and let's deploy. All right, change my firing mode, get ourselves going here, and it looks like we need to defend C. C is all the way back down here. Okay, uh, this game does have environmental effects as well. I can shoot out these windows and any enemies in front of them get sucked out into the vacuum of space. And then a bulkhead closes. And then you can place traps on the bulkhead if that's what you're into. I would say since D is up there, let's try to focus most of our traps. Sort of like in this little area. And I'll probably try to use the conveyors right there to get that done. Alright, we should be good. Uh, this is a really, really nice map to defend because most of the things coalesce in this little T-junction right here. Oh, we've already got one of the Zombos, huh? That's fun. Uh, so the zombies are kind of like a special enemy. They have a boil somewhere on their body, and you've got to shoot it, and that's what counts as the head hitbox. And it pretty much kills them instantly if you can hit it. But some of them are kind of challenging to get after. That one's got one on his leg. That guy just threw a grenade. Nope, don't want that at all. Ow, got shot in the face. There shouldn't be too much left of this breach team. But there also isn't too much left of my ammo here. All right, so we got them knocked out. Looks like they're coming from D now. So that means we'll probably want to reinforce... Where does D connect from? Is there so A's over here? B's over that way. Oh, D loops back. Okay, so B is this hallway, or D is this hallway right here. Gotcha. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's consider. We'll give them a little bit of fun stuff to play with over here in D. Just to thin them out before they get here. And then I need to go grab ammo from the pod bay real fast because we didn't get very many ammo drops off that last one. Later on in the game, you can deploy your own ammo pods and your own health pods wherever you want to deploy them instead of bringing a trap. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, let's just go ahead and start the breach real quick. Uh, this game does follow Counter-Strike rules. If you're crouching, uh, you have much better aim. So keep that in mind as you're sort of flowing through the game. All right, a few more enemies coming from that side. My opinion, the zombies are the main problem here. What did that? Oh, I was—I thought he went invisible for a second. He stepped on the jump pad and it threw him backwards and knocked him prone. Keep reloading. Knock him back. 
He's a little bit chewed on. I don't know if I can hit that little shoulder spot right there, though. The good news is when the zombies blow up, they damage everything around them. There we go. Give me a little bit of reload. Oh, another zombie. Sir, please die. Thank you. It uh, looks like we've got C and we've got D again. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. I think we're probably in good shape here. So we'll go ahead and throw a few more over here on D. And then reinforcing C feels pretty good to me too. I also kind of want to scooch these back, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, let's scooch these back, I guess. Just to be annoying, because I noticed it was launching people out of the range of the actual traps. Oh, I forgot to go get ammo. Give me ammo. Did anybody make it? I think I made it in time. I think. There we go on these shields, boys. I don't even know what I'm firing at. I just see health bars. Oh, man, got to work on that throwing arm. I'm going to take a rough guess here and say that we weren't a baseball player in our previous Earth life. Yeah, that was a little more ammo intensive than I would have liked. But then again, maybe I should have shot him in the big glowing spot. We actually got really, really easy patrols this time. This map can go very, very poor. Oh, there's an ammo dispenser right here. One thing I do like is that you get to kind of like memorize the ship as you play through the game. And you start to learn where the ammo dispensers and things are at. Uh, what do I have here? I mean, honestly... I feel like we're in good shape. Like, I think they're getting through on this direction more than the other direction. So we'll go ahead and send that right there. Let's go ahead and line this thing up. That's fine. They can be at Delta. I'm ready for them to be at Delta. See that right there? Some of the other maps have interesting things too. Like there's one map on the ship called the pit and it's got a giant death pit in the middle of it for like reactor coolant or whatever. And you can actually like put bumpers and things to throw people into the death pit. And the nice part is the game's got good like quality of life. You don't lose your loot when they get thrown into the pit. It just stays on the edge of the pit. You have to be careful about not throwing yourself into the pit though. Got him. Where's this next one at behind? All right. Mission complete. We successfully defended the sheep. Uh, your booby traps don't stay in between runs, though. The next time you come over here, you're going to have to redeploy all your booby traps. That's one of the things that I've noticed. Uh, but we got another mission down. Uh, mainframe attack was deflected. Now, you can be attacked by multiple ships at the same time. Those will be denoted on the tile by there being multiple ships there. If you have to defend multiple tiles, you automatically lose the ones that you don't pick to defend. But you can repair these systems after you get done with your materials. And so sometimes you just got to kind of make a decision. Like these guys are about to double breach us over here and we'll kind of see how that goes. We have enough research right now that I feel like we can probably do something. I'm leaning prettily, pretty heavily on the thermal discharger. 
So I think more damage would be good. I would love to get to its ultimate here. What's its ultimate? Allows the thermal charger to be placed on the ceiling. Ooh, that would be really good for tight corridors. Let's just take the enemy patrol for now. So they went to the hallway and they went to the pit. Okay. I would say let's defend the hallways probably easier. We've already got all of our stuff equipped, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, when you unlock things on given runs, they stay unlocked. Um, some of them you lose, though. I haven't figured out exactly how it decides what you keep and what you lose. But our exit gate's right there, and we are defending D. Okay. They'll probably turn the corner tight right here, would be my guess. Let's put a slow pad. Kind of like right there, I guess. And we'll just let them load on in. I'll fight them from the bottom of the stairs in this little security depot over here. Got my wrong firing mode on, though. Don't have any clue what that is. Never seen it before. Like a big old grub. Oof, grenade almost got me. Yeah, don't let him throw that grenade. I would prefer to not get hit by a grenade right now. All right, so let's pick up all of our scrap. Very satisfying sound design as well, in my opinion. Uh, we got A... Back over this way? Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, there's not much I can do with this area. So we got a we got a split defense right now we're going to have to play around with. Let's put in a couple boobity traps. And we may have to defend from here, which I don't really want to do. But I think it's going to have to happen either way. Oh, good. They've got flyers. Those are always fun. Uh, flyers are always enjoyable because they skip your traps. How we doing here? Those guys are softened up. Fight that way for a second. Getting peppered up pretty good here. Oh, he got me. No, dude. That sucks. We lose a fat bonus for that one getting through. That's all it takes is one enemy to get through, and we lose, like, an entire rating. It sucks because, er so, like, a late split doesn't matter, but an early split is just brutal. And so we got like a really early split when we don't have the resources available to really defend both. So we'll put that right there. I feel like they were making it through this way a lot more than they were making it through the other way. But we will add a few more over there. And then we'll put another sticky pad right there, maybe to thin them out. I got 35. Okay, where can I put another sticky pad? Let's put another sticky pad right there. And I think that's going to have to do it. The good news is we have a lot of ammo sitting around that we can collect if we end up needing it. So, And I think we have all of our lanes kind of defended now. Quick reload. Got Big Slug coming through over there. Big Slug is probably going to dodge most of our traps. Where you think you're going? Ow. 
I really hope they buff the grenade at some point. That radius is actually kind of whack. Oh, it does a butt slam! It's a new enemy that I've never seen before, so I didn't know what it was going to do. Unfortunate. Mission complete, huh? Well, that's a bummer. I didn't know that it did a butt slam. I learned that the hard way. Now I know. Never seen that enemy before. Uh, there are a lot of different enemies in this game. They have really good enemy variety. It can be, if you've never seen one before, it's easy to make an error like what I just made, which is running up on him, which I guess is probably the last thing you want to do. I was trying to look around for a weak point on him, like something that would fail, basically, uh, like the zombies have, but it doesn't look like he has one. I think he's just an ungodly damage soak. So yeah, even letting one enemy through cuts your reward by half. So keep that in mind. You definitely don't want to let enemies through. Now, they're going to take over the pit on this side. Okay, pit is now offline. Oh, we're going to need to fight in the mess hall. I think the mess hall is a little bit nicer. We also have guys chasing us right now, too, each turn that we're fighting. And so as you can see, the difficulty ramps up on this game pretty quickly. Like, it comes after you pretty aggressively, both on the overmap sort of meta gameplay and also on the actual in-game gameplay itself. It ramps up quick. All right, so we've got gate B is our first guy. Our exit, what's our exit look like? Let's just throw down what we can and we'll take the 75 scrap bonus because I only have to defend from like right here so it shouldn't be too bad. I do kind of need to look around the ship so the spawn pods are over there. And it looks like they go to top deck from over here. Okay. I'm not familiar with this map yet. I know the hallways. I know engineering. And I know a couple other little spots. But what's back this way? So that's A. So that's breach point A. He's down. Let's go grab our stuff real quick. Hopefully we can save ourselves a trip to the, the ammo deposit. So A is the one they're coming through next. And it looks like they need to come up the stairs. And they need to get all the way down this hallway in order to get after us. Yeah, so we're going to need to move some traps around then. All right, so I reclaimed all my stuff because it looks like we've actually got a really well-developed choke over here and so my thinking was I guess I could put one or two up high yeah let's put one or two up high that'll work just for the flyers since we know that they're on this mission all right so we got windows we can bust out if things get a little bit too intense but yeah the grenade uh, like double the radius on that grenade it needs to be much, much larger. Because as of right now, I don't know if I've actually ever killed anything with the grenade because it like has a long delay and the radius is so thin that it feels to me kind of like they, they dodge it pretty frequently. Hey, the flying one's got him. Nice, dude. Uh, you can position your traps higher up on the wall to deal with different enemy types. On the plus side, at least we don't have zombies yet. Soaking up ammo and taking a ton of damage. Is that it? Nope, we got a couple more. Got a decent amount of scrap, which I'm pretty happy for. I need to go back to the spawn pods, though, and I need to uh, get my ammo filled back up. So spawn pods, ammo... I still feel like I personally am doing too much heavy lifting here. Like, the traps aren't getting them all. So we got C factored in, too. But C is easy to defend. Who cares about C? Uh, when these bulkheads come down, you can build traps on them.
All right. The hallway of death is ready for our defense. Let's do this thing. We shouldn't have to do too much right here. Like, a lot of this should kind of resolve itself as long as we get rid of the flyers. But then again, where's the fun in life if you're not dumping rounds of DACA into everybody? Let them in the gate. Looks like we're pushing them back. You'd think that they would just torpedo the ship instead of going through all this. I mean, that kills all the humans, right? Back to the pod for a little bit of nap time because what goes better than slaughter than nap time? I can't think of anything. I love nap time slaughter, so let's go ahead and head back for our nap time. We've earned it if only sleeping was this easy. So we got some more resources. We blocked all the invasions. We're looking pretty good right now. Uh, there is an enemy ship incoming though. So it looks like we can repair that for a thousand resources. I don't know if that's worth it. At least not right now, limited as we are. There's another derelict over there. He's chasing us. We got another defense mission right there. How many turns do we have till he gets to us? So one, he goes to there. Two, he goes to there. Three, he goes to there. Four, he goes to there. Five, okay. Technically, we could run and grab the derelict. I think we could make it, but I guess it really comes down to whether or not you're a big old risk taker. Either way though, I don't really have anything to complain about here. Uh, this is a rad game. It is a lot of fun. All of the parts seem to be where they're at, and that's coming from someone that does not like tower defense games. I don't play them, I don't purchase them, I don't like them, I consider it kind of a dead solved genre. And so, aside from this and Rogue Tower, there haven't really been a lot of tower defense games that have got me super excited. But this one, this one's pretty exciting, pretty fun stuff. So check it out. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what is worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. This game will be out next week on Monday. You can check it out then. But up until then, it's time for me to go. I will see you all later. Thank you for spending time with me. And uh, hopefully I did a good job at justifying your attention. The zombies are an issue here. Oh, well, it's the end of the episode. Bye, folks.